Christmas is all around us, as Richard Curtis tells not one, but 247 different love stories in one movie. A movie that is considered a modern Christmas classic and the cinematic equivalent of having your mouth held open while someone ladles sugar syrup directly into your throat. From 2003, it's Love Actually. Now let's dig into Love Actually's most famous scene. And if not, it's most famous scene, they're definitely the most parodied. And that's the scene where Egg professes his love for his best friend's wife. We'll get it. Oh, hi. I want to start, but he's standing there with a small stereo and a pile of big cards. And he rings on the doorbell. What if Chiwetel answered? <laughs> He doesn't call her mobile. He rings the doorbell. So there's a 50-50 chance of his best friend coming to the door. Yeah. And he's, what's he going to do? Would he have still performed it? And it's the, it's the deception as well. <laughs> My God, what a brilliant film it would have been. if She's like, what? And he's like, get in the van. <laughs> so what he does is inspired by... Um, Bob Dylan's video for Subterranean Homesick Blues. Yeah. Um, and yeah, say it's carol singers. Um, and he says, with any luck, by next year, I'll be going out with one of these girls. And it's a pic- it's pictures of half-naked models that he's yeah, cut out. I, I saw Kate Moss and... Uh, it's the kind of mood board a serial killer makes. <laughs> it's like crudely cut out pictures of semi-naked women pritsticked to a bit of card. Yeah. And they, they did do a sequel, uh, Red Nose Day, actually. For yeah. Comic Relief, where we saw where all these characters were now. He shows up again at her door uh, and they make a joke about his beard because he's got his Walking Dead beard. And he's, he says, you know, those girls that I showed you, I did marry one of them. And then Kate Moss comes over and oh, they're married. Okay. The problem is the next card. So <laughs> Say it's carol singers. <laughs> when he shows the pictures of the women and then the next card says, to me, you are perfect. And that, I was like, when did she ever tell you she didn't think she was perfect? Mm-hmm. Like, he's ask, he's answering a question no one asked, which is, are you saying she's, that Kate, he could actually go out with Kate Moss, but to him, Kira Knightley is just as good. Because she could be like, I don't need you to tell me these things. Look who I'm married to. I don't need you to tell me that I'm perfect. Like, it's it's in, it's inferring that she's got a, a self-esteem issue that she doesn't have. Or the implication is that he thinks Chiwetel Ejiofor doesn't value her as yeah, much yeah, as yeah. he does. Which you've not seen any evidence no, of. No, absolutely. And But I wonder if there is, it's sort of alluding to that in, in some way. Because, like, she goes to answer the door and Chiwetel Ejiofor goes, tell him to piss off. off. Give him a quid and tell him to bugger off. Give him a quick time to piss off and turns the TV back up like they've been married 20 years. <laughs> uh, and, but, but before the knock at the door, they look really happy lying there together mm. in each other's arms. Yeah. Yeah. I think, but the fact that she then chases him down the street to give him a kiss <laughs> would suggest that she is missing something that he has completed within her. No, I don't think that's it. What is it then? She doesn't want... that. It's a big moment. It's a big romantic moment. She can't do anything. She doesn't want to do anything that far. But to sort of acknowledge the moment, a little kiss is fine. She's not cheating on her husband. It's just a kiss. But Andrew Lincoln's line after... I think he does his absolute best. But every time I think of that line, which I think of it maybe like four or five times a year and kill myself laughing where he's like, that's enough. (laughs) <laughs> Enough now, yeah. Enough, enough now. now. I like it. No, I don't think it's I terrible. Like it. It's absolutely terrible because it's clearly not enough. So why he's just you can't just be over it in like five seconds. I don't I don't buy it. But it's also it, it's all it does make it all about him as well. All right, you did your big thing. Yeah. And and now you've done enough. And yeah. what's it and taught she him? She didn't leave him for you, so <laughs> let's move on. And, and what's it taught him? It's taught him that stalking and obsessive behaviour will get you a snog. <laughs> so we'll move yeah. on to the next person. Uh, because a bit later on, uh, his Colin... card list, his <laughs> yes. big card list of his well, next no. tar- his next target. Colin Firth introduces Andrew Lincoln to his missus at the airport at the end. I think that's dangerous. Oh yeah, <laughs> he'll be he'll be off again. He's got form there. <laughs> but I mean, you know, the money shot in the trailer, the scene that sort of sold this movie was Hugh Grant dancing in <clears throat> Number Ten Downing Street. But actually, now this has become the calling card for this film. This is the most famous scene. Oh, no pun intended. Um, yeah, and I, it's just, it's, it's horrible. 
I so I there is part of me, the rom com loving part of me that can see it for what it is, and it is that it's a very sweet romantic gesture that's a fantasy and wish fulfillment, and I can see why it works, and I, I can see that he's a stalker. But when he's doing, <laughs> my only issue is that to me you are perfect. So I'm like, excuse me, yeah. but the idea of someone turning up at your door and declaring their love. Is obviously. I just wish it. I wish they could have written a way that it wasn't the best friend though. There's just something so deeply unpleasant about doing that behind your seeming best friend's back. Yeah. 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 But then you know they do have prostitutes together, so you know sex workers. He's not an angel either, is he? Yeah, I was quoting that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but this 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 scene is what you just said, V. Is it's the it's a film through and through. You either dissect these moments and go, what the fuck is that, or you go. That's cute. Yeah. That's really cute. That's a really nice saccharine soaked moment yeah. for a romantic comedy. And you have, it depends which side of the fence you fall on. It's rotten. <laughs> rotten to the core. And that's your side. <laughs> uh, and so then we've got the ending in the airport. Uh, Richard Curtis says, with love, actually, that ending was really important to me. I remember noticing at an airport, it was actually while we were shooting Mr. Bean um, and I was stuck inside and I suddenly saw all the extraordinary emotion. And I thought that is the proof that there is so much overflowing love in the world.